Hello everyone, especially to my grade 11 students. How are you? I hope you are doing great. So welcome to academic year 2020-2021 and welcome to my subject, General Mathematics. So let's start. Chapter 1. Chapter 1 is all about functions and their graphs. So for our learning objectives for this chapter, first, we have to differentiate relations and functions. Second, evaluate and solve functions. And third, perform the operations on functions and composition of functions. So we have four major topics for this chapter. First, the relations and functions. Second, the evaluation of functions. And the third, the operations of function. And lastly, the composition of functions functions so let's just take uh, let's just take one step at a time so let's start with the lesson one lesson one is all about relations and functions you know what this is one of the most interesting topics that i have in my teaching career because i know that everyone can relate this topic again relations and functions Again, our first objective, we have to differentiate relations and functions. So let's start. Starting with, let us define what is a relation. In your own idea, I know that you have an idea. What is a relation? Yes, relation. Diba? Relation, relation, relation. Wala ka nun. Ah, aminin mo, wala ka nun. Okay, so much for that. Relation is an association between two elements of sets. Association between two elements of set. Kaya nga tinatawag na relasyon kasi dalawa kayo. Kaya ikaw, wag kang magtaka, kaya ka walang jowa, kaya ka single kasi wala kang relasyon. Bakit? Kasi mag-isa ka lang. Listen, relasyon, matatawag na relasyon kapag may dalawang elements. May ikaw at siya. Pero sad to say, walang ikaw at walang Siya. Kaya wala kang relasyon. Ha? Relasyon is an association between two elements. Second, it is a correspondence between the two variables, the x and y. Two variables, the x and y. The most common word of a relation. Association of two elements or correspondence between two variables, the x and y. Sobrang daming relasyon, no? Relasyon natin sa kapwa. Ikaw at saka yung kapwa. Relasyon mo at yung kakaklase. Ikaw at yung classmates. That's a relation. You and God. That's a relation. Diba? Ikaw at saka si God may relasyon. Again, association between two elements. Ha? A relation is a set of ordered pairs. Again, tinatawag na relasyon kasi dalawa kayo. That's a relation. Let's, let me emphasize class. Two elements. The domain and the range. So, in every element, in every pair, yung first element, yung first variable, tinatawag nating domain. X is for domain. Sino sa alphabet? Sinong mauna? Si X at saka si Y. Siyempre, mauna si X. X, bakit kayo nag X, kaya kayo nagkahiwalay. Y, bakit? Bakit kayo nagkakahiwalay? X is for domain. Y is for range. Again, let me repeat. X is for domain and Y is for range. And si X, ito yung mga elements sa first. Or, the first elements. And the second, the variables in the second part. Or, the second elements. Again, the X and the Y, domain and the range. So, did you get the relation? Yes. So, now, ano yung pangalawa? Relation and functions. So, this time, uh, before that, let's discuss the examples of relation. Examples of relation is one. Movie and character. Ano yung two elements? Diba? Relation is an association of two elements, two variables. We have the movie and the character. Ano yung first variable natin? Movie. Ano yung second variable? Character. May relasyon ba? Of course, may relasyon. Hindi kagaya mo at ng ex mo na wala kayong relasyon. Ouch! Reality hurts. Okay? So, movie, yung first element natin, character. Ano yung movie? Title ng movie, Titanic. Sino yung hero o sino yung um, character ng Titanic na movie? Si Jack. Second, ano yung movie? Iron Man. And the character is Tony Shark. Spider-Man at saka si 
Peter Parker. So, di ba? May relasyon. Title ng movie at saka yung character. Okay? So, next. Another one. Titanic, Jack, Iron Man, Tony Shark, Spider-Man, Peter Parker. They are just the same. And the last one, Titanic, Jack, Iron Man, Tony Sharks, Spider-Man, or Peter Parker. So, have you seen the three? Yes, they are different in terms of their presenting the topic. But they are just the same, class. They are just, these three ay tinatawag natin ways of presenting relations. We have three ways of presenting the relations. Same as in our life. How did you present your relationship? How did you apply your relationship? How did you practice your relationship with God? Paano? Do you have a consistent communication with Him? Diba? Prayer is the most and the easiest way of connecting God. We have to practice. We have to make it into reality. We have to make it into a function. Our relation with God. We have to present our relation. What about our classmates? How are you with your classmates? I hope you are doing great. And what about you with you and your family? How do you present your relationship with you and your family? I hope and I pray that you have a good relationship with your family, with your friends, with your colleagues, with your neighbors, and with everyone in the world. Uh, okay. So again, these three, there are three ways in presenting the relations. Have you seen the first? What, what have you seen? What can you observe? It is what we call as table. So the first is what we call as tabular. The first way in presenting the relation is what we call as the tabular. What about the second? The circle, the two circles with arrow. That is what we call as mapping. Mapping. And the third one, um, enclosed by parentheses with uh, a set. So that's what we call as rooster. Again, let me repeat class. We have three ways of presenting the relations. First, tabular. Second, mapping. And third is rooster. So I hope you have understood the relation. Again, relation, it is an association between two elements. A correspondence of two elements. Dapat may dalawang bagay para matawag natin silang relasyon. Hindi kagaya mo na walang relasyon. Kung bakit? Kasi hindi na work with X. Pero dami relasyon class. Relasyon sa kapwa, with the family, and so everyone. Okay? So let's proceed. To the second, the functions. Ayan, what is a function? Function. What is its relationship to relation? So in this topic, we are going to determine bakit yung relasyon nagpa-function. At bakit yung ibang relasyon hindi nagpa-function. Or in the other words, when can we say that a certain relation is a function. Diba? Let's start. Let's know. Again, what is a function? Let's define it first. Function is a relation where each element in the domain is related to one and only one value in the range. Oh, before that, I forgot. Let's go back. Again, are you in domain and range? The domain and the elements are the, the sets in the first element. So, the first element natin, yung movie. So, our domains are Titanic, Iron Man and Spider-Man. What about our range or the Y? Diba? Range, the second value or the second element. The characters is Jack, Tony Shark, Peter Parker. So, yung domain natin si Titanic, Iron Man and Spider-Man. Yung range natin si Jack, Tony Shark at saka si Peter Parker. So, let's proceed. Let's go back to fun. What's a function again? It is a relation where each element in the domain is related to one and only one value in the range. The most common questions we used to hear in the Facebook, we used to read in the Facebook. Ba't wala kang jowa? Ba't single ka? O ikaw, class, let me ask you. Ba't wala kang jowa? Bakit ka single? Yan. Bakit yung relasyon nyo hindi nagpa-function? Ba? Bakit? Sige, bakit? Ayan. Sabi nga sa definition natin, a relation is a function if the domain is related to one and only one value in the range. Kaya kayo nagkahiwalay 
Kaya yung relasyon nyo, hindi nagpa-function, relasyon mo ng ex mo. Bakit? Kasi yung ex mo ay nagko-correspond, hindi lang isa, kundi dalawa, tatlo, apat. Which is not, which is wrong. Ha? Sabihin natin, a relasyon, we can only say that a relation is a function if and only if, if and only if, x corresponds to one and only one value of y. Ganun dapat, dapat loyal. Kaya kayo naghahiwalay kasi hindi lang isa, hindi lang dalawa, hindi, ang dami. Di ba? Ang daming nagba-viral ngayon kasi ang daming kinokorespond kaya ang relasyon hindi nagpa-function. Listen, to make it sure that your relation is a function, x must only correspond to one and only one value of y. And let me repeat, ano yung x? Yung nasa first values natin. Siya dapat, yung main dapat isa lang i-correspond niya para masabi natin ang relasyon ay nagpa-function. Ang sakit, dami nagkakahiwalay, dami nagbe-break, 6 years, 9 years, 10 years nagbe-break. Bakit? Hindi, nag hindi nagpa-function ang relasyon. Bakit? Kasi daming kinokorespond. Hello, babe, my loves. Ha, ano pa yung iba? Babe, my loves, honey, sweetheart. Yan, daming kinokorespond. Which is wrong. Okay? So now, Let's try. Let's try to have a practice. We have our X. Anong X domain? Our domain, M-A-T-H. Si Y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Determine which of the following set of ordered pairs. Rep set of ordered pair represents a function from set X to Y. So let's try to determine. We have four examples. We have the four sets. The A, B, C, D. We have to identify we have to determine if that certain relation is a function and which relation is not a function. Did you get the point? Again, start with letter A. Ano yung A? Ano yung X natin? M-A-T-H. Lahat ba? May M-A-T? Yes, may M. May A, may T at saka H. Are you following me? Yes. Do you follow? Yes. Now, let's follow. H. Okay? So, um, letter A is that a function? Yes, that is a function. Bakit function? That is a function kasi si M nagko-correspond to isa lang sa value ng Y. M correspond to 1. A correspond to 2. And T correspond to 3. H correspond to 5. May naulit ba? May M ba? May, si M nagko-correspond pa sa dalawa? Wala. Isa lang yung kuno-correspond. Loyal si M. Sinong jowa ni M? Only 1. So, M, the X corresponds to one only one value of Y, which is 1, as well as the A, T, and H. Sir, but nawala si 4? but nawala si 4? Okay lang yun. Diba, sinasabi natin, a relation is a function if X, diba, X, ano yung X? Corresponds to one and only one value of Y. Yan o, M, A, T, H. So, M to 1, A is to 2, T is to 3, H is to 5. Lahat ng values ng X nagko-correspond to one and only one value of Y. Did you get? I hope so. Letter B. M is to 3. T is to 4. H is to 5. So, let me ask you. Is that a function? Is that a relation? Function or relation? Function or not? Is that a function or not a function? Okay. Letter B is not a function. Bakit? X corresponds to one and only one value of Y. Nasaan si A? Nasaan si A? Tinan nyo yung mga X natin. M, A, T, H. Pero sa letter B, si M lang, si T, at saka si H. Nasaan si A? Kawawa si A kasi walang relasyon, walang jowa. Diba? Sabi ng definition, a relation is a function if x corresponds to one and only one value of y. Pero si A, walang kinokorespond si A, walang kinokorespond, meaning walang jowa, kagaya mo. O ikaw, nanonood, wala kang kinokorespond kasi wala kang jowa. Joke lang, class. Again, letter B is not a function. Bakit? Kasi si A, nawala si A. Walang kinokorespond si A. 
Again, that negates the definition of x corresponds to one and only one value of y. Pero si a walang kino correspond kaya hindi siya function. Letter C. Is that a function? Yes, that is a function. Listen. Oh, naguguluhan kayo. So, ang dami kinokorespond naman. Si 5 kinokorespond. Okay lang yan. Di ba sabi? X corresponds to one and only one value of y. Saan yung mga x natin? M, A, T, H. Si M, ilan ba ang kinokorespond ni M? 5. O di ba? M corresponds to one only one value of y. 5. So, meaning, function. A, ilan ba ang kinokorespond ni A? Isa lang din. Si 5. Si 5. Sa T, ilan ang kinokorespond ni T? Isa lang din. Si 5. Si H, ilan ang kinokorespond ni H? Isa lang din. Hindi bali ng ilang beses tinitira si 5 o si Y, ilang beses ginawa si 5, basta ikaw na nasa X, ikaw na center, isa lang dapat ang kinokorespond mo. So, M, A, T, S corresponds to one and only one value of Y. Isa lang ang kinokorespond ng, ng mga value ng x natin. So, meaning to say, letter C is a function. Very good. Letter D. What is letter D? Not a function. Bakit? Saan dyan? Bakit hindi nagpa-function si letter D? Ayan. Tingnan mo. Si T. Parang x mo, ano? Parang x ko din. Char lang. <laughs> Joke lang. Si T. Parang x mo. Akala mo ikaw lang. Akala mo ikaw lang. Wala lang iba. Hindi ko kaya mabuhay nang wala ka. <laughs> okay, si letter T, parang X mo. Bakit? Tatlo ang kinokorespond. Hindi na kontento sa isa. Hindi loyal. Makate. Diba? So, letter T, letter D, I mean, is not a function. Bakit? Si T, yung X value natin na si T, tatlo ang kinokorespond. Let me repeat. Let me, let me emphasize x corresponds to one and only one value of y. Pero ilan ang kinokorespond ni t? Tatlo. Tatlo ang ginawa ni t. Ikaw, tatanungin ko. Okay lang ba? Tatlo kayong jowa ng jowa mo. Okay. So, d is not a function. I hope you have understood the lesson. Okay. So, as a conclusion of relations and functions... Let's take a look at this. All functions are relations. Diba? Lahat na nagpa-functions ay relasyon. Kaya nga nagpa-function kasi may relasyon. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng nag-work ay may relasyon. Let me repeat. All functions are relations. Lahat ng nag-work ay may relasyon. Kaya huwag kang magtaka, but wala kang relasyon? Kasi, hindi nag-work. In contrast, not all relations are functions. Okay. All functions are relations, but not all relations are functions. Ikaw at ng ex mo, may relasyon. Diba? May relasyon kayo, pero hindi nagpa-function. Ibig sabihin, Hindi lahat ng, ng hindi lahat ng relasyon ay nag-work. For the last time, class, let me repeat, all functions are relations but not all relations are functions. Thank you for listening our lesson 1. Once again, this is teacher R saying, thank you so much and may God bless us all.